Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Uh, uh, Hakeem Jeffries, perhaps perhaps not even that far in the future, speaker <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene has her way on the very same subject, democracy. How big of an issue will abortion rights be this election year? It's going to be an incredibly significant issue because on its own, it's about freedom, and the extreme MAGA Republicans have set in motion the erosion of reproductive freedom. We're going to fight for it with everything that we've got at our disposal. Uh, anyone on to say? If Roe v. Wade can fall, anything can fall. Social Security can fall. Medicare can fall. Voting rights can fall. And God help us all, but democracy itself can fall. If Roe v. Wade can fall, then anything can fall. Every single thing that we care about is on the ballot in November. Yes, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Oh, just checking my weather alerts. Oh, guess what the weather is, Chris? Stormy. It's going to be stormy today. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I get okay. it. I get so, it. I see what you're talking about there. Trump violated the gag order for the tenth time yesterday. Oh, and more he, than that. he did something this morning. But he took it down. The judge it. threatened jail, yeah. and so this morning he trothed and then deleted it immediately. Yeah. Some lawyer uh, went take that down. <sighs> okay. Hey, it looks like the witness today is Stormy Daniels. Trump has deleted this post. She, he said, I've just recently been told who the witness is today. This is unprecedented. No time for my lawyers to prepare. Really? In the hush money trial about you paying off the porn star, you were completely shell-shocked that they're calling, let me think. Oh, the porn star that you knew was on the witness list? Of course he knew If his lawyers not. haven't prepared for this, then they're crappy I mean, lawyers. He has to whine about something. What do you mean you don't? We, you're don't the, I was just told. Oh, my God. Really? First of all, like, they know who the witnesses are. That's why he's been relentlessly attacking Michael Cohen but and Stormy they, Daniels. The, I believe the judge was basically saying, we're not going to let you know the day before that somebody's coming in so that there are no threats that happen right. to those people, which is rare, right. but it can happen. And it, it does make you, as a defense attorney, a little... Yeah. Because you're not that... You, you yeah. Know, you don't have the day before yeah. to right. prepare. Charlie Pierce has uh, has bandied the word Molly Coddling. That's and, what this but, judge is when, doing. And when Charlie... Molly, Yes, because his daughter's name is Molly. So he's serious when he says Molly Coddling. I mean, I, it, it's just, I get it. Him, he's like, this is the last thing I want to do. You are a former president, but uh, possibly a future. No, a future. He, he had to say it. it. But it, it's just, you know, and then Trump going, I'd be my honor to sacrifice. I love oh, to please. go to jail. And I know Caitlin Collins said it too. He doesn't want to go to jail. Who does? I remember Chris Christie <laughs> talking about, it. you know, he's known him for 30 years. And he said he's talked to him about that, about other people that have gone to jail. And he's like, I could never do that. Oh, my God. Of course he not. Said, he said, I, I guarantee you every night he hears that jail door shutting. Because they were saying he can't even, they, he won't even stay in a hotel. He, like, famously, when he was president, they had a hard time getting him to stay overnight anywhere. Oh, my God. Well, what they were saying yesterday was that it's it's not going to be Rikers or anything. It's, it's probably going to be a holding room at the courthouse. Damn. So it's not going to really be, like, a jail cell. I don't care it's about the be... details anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing it up. <laughs> Just don't care anymore. <laughs> I mean, I, so what, does that, is that, like, just the tip? Like, he just. Just to see. Right? Does that not count because he deleted it? It's like, it depends on how long he violated the gag order. I mean, it's insane, right, at this point. And you know he's just going to keep going. He's already sent out a fundraising thing. Be my honor to sacrifice. Like, what did he say? Where is oh, that it's in there somewhere. little bitch statement. Oh, to martyr himself? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Our Constitution is much more important than jail. It's not even close. I'll do that sacrifice any day. Oh, God, he gives and he gives, people. He gives. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's let's test that theory, shall we? Let's test that theory, if, if it would be his honor. I don't think it would be. be. 
Okay. I don't, and, and I don't think it even takes a lawyer. Uh, this is Norm Eisen, prosecution wrapping up, uh, racking up points well on its way to winning. I mean, I think that's pretty clear is they have the, all of the receipts, all of it, mm-hmm. financial documents, signed checks, audio tape. I mean, it, it's so, I mean, I, I assume that's what Trump sees coming too, is that this, you know, I, First of all, and they're going, someone's like, oh, well, you haven't seen the defense yet. The defense is ridiculous. The defense is going to be, I've never met either of these women. I don't know who they are. Mm-hmm. The defense is, the defense rests. Because that's, that's what it's been right. in, in right. previous cases. Right. Yeah, they don't put up much of a defense. Right. And that's why he has to pay these massive amounts of money. Right. Um, by the way, uh, Matt O'Blog tweets, part of why Nixon and Agnew were not punished more severely, Chris, is because I knew that was coming as soon as you sent that to me. He sticks in my craw. Well, I wake up in the middle of the night like that was dumb, Chris. Just kidding. I got yelled at by Jill Weinbank. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I set that did. up, man. I keep all up. Yeah, that. you did. <laughs> Chris is burning Nixon brought down the temperature with the country. And she was like, "Who said that?" Oh. <laughs> she was not pleased. <laughs> she was not pleased. Kramer. <laughs> Newman. Newman. Sorry, that's it. Newman. <laughs> Um, uh, is, uh, bar, part of the reason they were not punished more severely is because they agreed to leave public life, which is why we don't have a good precedent. We, we are now stuck with a guy who's determined to stay in public office, mm-hmm. uh, you know, presumably forever, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know. What's it? We will talk to Allison Gill uh, in hour three. We've got Charlie Pierce coming up. I, I, I just put put him the, in jail. I mean, it's not even just about, it's like people can go, oh, you guys just want to see him in jail. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, I mean, for if, his many lifetimes. Yes. If you break crimes, the law. Yeah. Then, uh, but yes, but more importantly, Chris, for the rule of law. Right. Exactly. To just the, uh, for all of our beliefs right. in, a, in a justice system in the United States. Right. Not one person. It's not that, in like, the... oh, I just can't wait to see it. I mean, yes, I want him to go to jail for all of his crimes. Right. But this is just such an obvious two systems of justice that it, that it is my fear is is eroding faith in our our it you know. absolutely is and that's his that's his goal oh allison gill wrote a whole uh, piece defending Mary garland yes, she so did. You i wanted I you to read i'm that. like a weather vane you know i'll just like go back <laughs> forth and then when we have ellie mistal on tomorrow i'll be like oh <laughs> and when billy west is back i'll be like oh he's such a sad pet store parrot uh-huh. but, okay <laughs> I mean, I do understand <laughs> the timeline as to how we got wow. here. That what was, is... wow. That you was, understand. That was conciliant. Uh, uh, what, what was that? I have no idea what that well, was. Thank God for Alvin Bragg. Like, this is, you know, for everybody going, oh, this case isn't important and this is blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's the only case that we might even get a sliver of justice before right. the election, mm-hmm. right? Um, okay. Oh, speaking of Newman. <laughs> Uh, what I do now? Not you. <laughs> Not. What's happening? Oh no! It's nothing By the way, that concerns everyone, you. Everyone likes my new lighting and has credited Jody Hamilton with basically creating light. Yeah. Yeah. She is Stephanie Miller's show God. God said, "Let there be light." This was all on you guys. No, I had Jody set it up. I had nothing to do with it. I just moved from over there to here. Well, because people are like, we can't really see your face. Well, and, which could I think is a good thing, but and we had to move it back because it was completely blocking your shot. Yeah, don't block the shot. Yeah, we no, don't we, block the shot. Don't have that. That's the point. Is the light with why the shot? Are old, why are old Bill O'Reilly things stuck in my head still? Right. Well, I'll write it. We'll do it live. <laughs> I'm screaming. Okay. So anyway, I just in light of Tara Setmeyer, Hakeem Jeffries, on and on. People warning about the end of democracy. I just. I know you and I, Chris, have been on a little bit of a tear. About what? About rich white oh. billionaire oh, yeah. comedians whining about not having free speech or PC culture or woke culture or yeah. blah, 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 yeah. blah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Bill Jerry, Mar- Jerry Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld. Wh- whining about Jerry Seinfeld whining about on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. have, yes. he doesn't yeah, he have has... a platform at all. Oh, my God. Or his new, you know, multi-million dollar yeah. deal with Netflix for his new movie. I'm like. Okay, but I just, I don't know what the he's doing, but Jon Stewart, there's this, you know, tell a joke festival, whatever the hell uh-huh. it is. Netflix yeah. is a joke festival. Yeah, Netflix yes. is a yes. joke. Yes. yes. It's going on, like, it's like everywhere. everywhere here in Los Angeles. You see, you can't escape it's ads It's everywhere. Did yeah. you think I was going to see that headline? Jon Stewart says Biden is so old, he shouldn't be president. Okay. Bye. 
I just like that character. That does Carlos play anger in the that animated thing? Yes, he or did. I... He plays That's anger in that... someone else's head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just this is by by the way you need to go to sexyliberal.com the party's in Madison this Saturday if you don't like your part your uh comedy both sides do it because both sides don't do it they don't do it well, there is and also this just proves our long-running point that Bill Maher is against whoever is in the White House yeah he he goes back all and forth the white depending on who's in the White House multi multi-millionaires will be fine a lot of us will not be fine Either way, the election goes. It, 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 as John Fugelsang says, it is not apples and oranges. It's apples and dirt. White, white hot streams of Satan's vomit. Which can, uh, which can be tasty if you put some sriracha on it. Thank you, Chris. Or butter. A second Trump term may be frightening, but President Biden is just too old to be elected, says comedian John Stewart. Could you, could you blow the, the shut up cannon? Thanks. He said, I know liberals will say, don't say Joe Biden's old. No, I've never said that. Obviously, he's old. So he Trump's old. the same age. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he said, I know you know how old he is. I know you don't want to say it because Trump is so scary, but he's so old. Trump is the same age. Oh, my God. This argument. Shut up. Hey. Shut the hell up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh. Shut up. He went on to say, when you watch him on television, you're nervous, aren't you? No. He was great at the White House Correspondents yeah. Dinner. He gave a great State of the Union. Oh, my God. He said, I'm not saying Biden can't contribute to society. He just shouldn't be president. Oh, my God. Shut up. Shut up. You shut up. Shut up. You shut up. Shut the f up. Shut all the way the f up until you reach the top of shut mountain where there are no more ups to shut okay that's the cure for that the cure for that is the sexy liberal everybody save the world comedy tour yeah it's madison this saturday albuquerque next saturday and on and on we go we are about to pair with a fantastic voting uh uh, that will be our sexy liberal cause for this tour. We're about to announce that mm -hmm. to help get out the vote. It is for a cause. It is for freedom. It is for democracy. It is to save the world, ladies and gentlemen. You are invited to Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour. It's the political comedy event of the year, and it's coming to a city near you. Join Stephanie Miller, the queen of progressive talk radio, along with Hal Sparks, John Fugelsang, and the comedy duo Frangela, mocking all the fascists and trolls for a tour that is hilarious, inspiring, and deeply offensive to just the right people. It's an all-new tour with all-new guests and a side-splitting evening of stand-up. Stephanie Miller's Sexy Liberal Save the World Tour.